entrepreneurship is a kind of think tank. It's a kind of trial and error. It's individual people coming up with ideas and trying to start business, trying to do a new thing that meets a particular need. And that is what uh, allows an economy to grow and adapt to circumstances. For example, Macedonia is a very new economy, new government structure, etc. I don't think that what's going on in Italy 20 years ago is going to solve your problems. And I don't even think what happened in Macedonia 20 years ago, obviously, is going to be of any help. So you have new problems that are facing your <coughs> society, your culture, and your economy. And it's only by sort of trial and error, multiple uh, attempts, failures, adjustments, that it's going to solve Macedonia's problems today, economically. If I can use a kind of typical example, what would be of a, a large tree, say an acorn, the oak tree has many acorns, right? You drop them on the ground. And it's kind of interesting. Why does the oak tree have to drop thousands of acorns on the ground when we know that there aren't many trees that are going to grow out of all those acorns on the ground? And we can't really predict which one would do it. Matter of fact, uh, what do I write on? Can I use this? I cannot write and I cannot draw, so you'll have some good humor. Here's a tree, and here are all the acorns up here. I think if you were a theorist and you said you were a government regulation agency, you'd say all of these acorns are superfluous. We shouldn't have so many. They're all a waste, because only one of them is going to grow up fast. So we're going to have a new regulation, no acorns allowed to fall, except one. I don't think we have many uh, oak trees to grow. And the government might be fairly logical about it and say, well, we think the oak tree is allowed to have this drop because we'll go down here and with the sun out here, we'll probably get the most sun, uh, the most rain, <coughs> etc. I would predict that the acorn that will probably survive, although I don't know, is up here. Anybody tell me why that one's going to win? Don't know. You're right, you don't know, but I'm making a guess. So why am I guessing? We have to make estimates. Why is that acorn going to survive? Awesome. Maybe the soil is more fertile. Sorry? Maybe the soil is more fertile. Well, my theory is, I think it will survive because it's very high and it's near the middle. Now, logic would say it's not going to work because in the middle there's the least rain and the least sun. But what's going to happen is this one's going to fall. It's going hit to hit the trunk and bounce out here. That's my theory. I was hoping it'd be on the same wave. Um, we should probably get started, but I wanted to, uh, yeah, just begin with some <coughs> remarks. I'm not sure what you know about entrepreneurship or what it means, so let's just read some of these definitions. Right, it's a little far away, you can't read that easily. Uh, the first two are ones that came out of some reading that uh, I gave for this course. What is an entrepreneur? A person willing and able to convert an idea or invention into a successful innovation. Next one, uh, by the way, if you don't know Peter Drucker, he's a very famous man and writes a lot about business, organizational theories. Uh, I highly recommend them to you. You might write that name down in the way through. His definition, a person willing to put his career or financial security on the line and take risks 